5.6 News. I'm Wayne Haverly. Last night, Portland police declared a riot after protesters gathered downtown. They were setting off fireworks, starting bonfires near the Justice Center. Several businesses were damaged overnight, and a statue in the park near the Justice Center, it was torched and defaced. Coin 6's Jennifer Dowling is live now with the details on this continuing violent behavior downtown. Jennifer? Good evening, Wayne. Yes, a lot of activity last night from both police and protesters in being declared a riot. Here's the statue behind me that was torched overnight. You can see there's a lot of charred ashes around it. Uh, they had a big bonfire going around it. Uh, there's still a sign on it right now that says this is stolen land and also uh, paper tape to the uh, young child there uh, as part of the statue that says from rebellion to revolution. So a lot of activity last night, several fires in Chapman and Lounsdale Square, including where this uh, statue was targeted. Take a listen. Many community members called for police service, which was delayed because we needed officers downtown to manage the dangerous events happening there. Oregon Pioneers and the Oregon Trail. They also built a fire in the middle of Southwest 3rd in the location where the elk statue was removed this week and in another location. And Police Chief uh, Chuck Lavelle also released a recorded statement last night. I'm not sure if we can uh, recue that up, but this is what he had to say. Many community members called for police service, which was delayed because we needed officers downtown to manage the dangerous events happening there. And that was a recorded statement. Police also released videos and pics of what they say they experienced during the night. Some of it was from an officer that they say was embedded with a rapid response team. That officer sustained an injury from a mortar that exploded near her feet while she was recording, according to police. Officers also said they found a wrist brace slingshot and provided a picture of that. They say those have been used over the past several weeks to launch things like marbles, blades, shrapnel, batteries, and ball bearings, according to police. Now, as a counterpoint, protest say they believe they are the ones that are experiencing the brutality from police. They oppose the arrest of protesters, which can get physical at times, and the use of less lethal munitions, which they say can and has caused injuries. Also, they oppose tear gas, of course. We can confirm that CS gas was used uh, last night. Uh, one of our reporters, Danny Peterson, uh, got a big whiff of that and, and was burning his eyes and lungs. Uh, he was in uh, the middle of some of the protests uh, yesterday evening, as were we. We could tell that gas was being used as well. So police not commenting beyond that uh, release that they issued uh, last night, that recorded release, although we did request additional comment today. Back to you, Wayne.